an electric car actually ends up being getting more range for, for a given amount of, say, coal or oil that's burned than a gasoline car gets. As concern for the environment rises, we are seeing increasing demand for electric vehicles. Though EVs today are presented as new innovations, the fact is that such cars go back around a century. While there's a dispute at what point in history EVs were born, we can take 1828 as our starting point. That's the year in which Anjos Istvan Jedlik made the first electric car. Back then, it was in the form of a model. Perhaps that is why many histories skip that contribution. Rather, they take 1834 or 1835 as the year in which electric cars were born and give credit to an American, Thomas Davenport. It was then that Davenport built a small locomotive that was powered by two electromagnets and ran on a track. A few other inventors dabbled with electric cars during that decade, and the peak of the electric car is considered to be about 1900. At that time, electric cars made up about a third of all cars manufactured in the United States. However, by the 1920s, electric cars would stop being commercially viable as gas power became a lot more accessible and people wanted vehicles that could go longer distances and had more horsepower. Henry Ford dominated the car industry beginning in 1908 with his mass production of gas-powered cars. For over 60 years, these cars continued to advance. While gas was plentiful and inexpensive, people were content with their internal combustion engines. But by the late 1960s, there was a change. Gas prices started to climb steeply, and there was the beginning of concern over air pollution. Congress introduced the first bills promoting EVs in 1966. Spurred on by the rise of government regulations, American car makers tried to integrate electric power in cars in the form of hybrids. But the real revolution in the field came out of Japan. Toyota introduced the Prius, the first commercially mass-produced and marketed hybrid car. It was a hit from the start, with close to 18,000 units sold the first year. Then other manufacturers entered the arena, most notably Tesla. In 2006, the firm unveiled the Tesla Roadster. While in 2009, GM released the Chevy Volt, which marked a first for plug-in hybrids. The technology used in its battery was developed by the US Department of Energy. More importantly for the electric car market as a whole, the Department of Energy invested in the batteries used for such cars, which reduced the price by half over the earlier part of this decade. By 2014, there were 23 plug-in and 36 hybrid car models on the market. That number has grown with contributions from automakers around the world. And new models billed as competition for Tesla come out every year. The EV world is rising. Are you prepared for what's next? <laughs>